artlings. Today, the last part of my art process in Watch Me Paint Twitter Art Exhibit Part 3. Ooh. I'm Melanie Gruby and this is Creative Magic and around here we're all about all things art. That inner voice, that deep part of us that wants to sing out. So step into the Magic Circle Studios, home of the all-powerful muse and now your home. And today we're doing the last part of my art process and this is for the Twitter art exhibit. I'm doing a piece. It's postcard sized and it will be on display with all these other postcard sized original works of art at the Twitter art exhibit which is from, from March 31st to April 21st this year. 19, uh, <laughs> 19, <laughs> not that old really, I was born in 2000, um, 2016. That's what year we're in. And uh, the money doesn't go to the artists. It goes to their fundraising benefit. The benefit is Foster Pride's Handmade Program. Well, I'll put the gallery down in the uh, description below, but that's on East 52nd Street in New York City. Okay, so that's about the Twitter art exhibit. And then I wanted to show you today, I am putting color on the piece. You'll see this is the last part of the process. I do a little inking at the end, um, just you know, fi finishing touches. So in case you're wondering, the um, pastels I use come in this cool, this cool um, metal case. It's really thin. Look at that. It's so cool. And I just love the packaging and I really like the product too. So it's from Stabilo. It's the Carbotello Chalk Pastel Coloring Pencils. And you'll get to see how I use them in my work today. Okay, so enough already. Let's check it out. And there they are, the stars, my pastel pencils. I'm blending colors, checking them against the acrylic paints on the page already. Blending two primaries to get a secondary. And now I'm going to blend the three primaries together to get a gray. There I'm putting the glow around the stars. Um, the girls are placing in the sky and I don't want them to have white space around them because I'm going to leave the white space, the majority of the white space in this uh, composition to the two figures. And now I'm creating a gray around that initial glow that's surrounding the stars.
does gray it down. It takes off the intensity of the pure color, pure pigment that's coming from the pastel. It's the same thing when you're working with the pigment and paints. And here I'm taking off the white space from the rest of the page. There will be some corners, some areas that have white space. Most of the white space is going to be owned by the focal point, the two girls. I get my initial idea down, drawing from the subconscious. Inspired from the abstract, random paint spatters. But then after that, I have to really look at it and work the composition to make sense to everybody else and see what I'm seeing. Is by finding the focal point and by adding in more color to direct the eye. swirling the, the space about them a bit because they've been twirling or spinning. And the name of this piece is How to Place Stars in the Sky. Here I'm going in for some detailing, adding some more, not just shadow, Okay, Artlings, now it's your turn. Tell me in the comments below what is your favorite part of your own creative process. And today, the big shout out goes out to all my Artlings out there in YouTube land. You know what, I just learned a new skill. I learned how to video tweet on Twitter. So if you guys uh, tweet me on Twitter, I will reply in video tweet or you can video tweet me if you already know how to do it and also you can do it with Facebook same thing post on my Facebook fan page that's Melanie Grudby artist and I will video reply on your wall okay so check it out and what else um, oh and that offer expires in 10 9 8 seconds no not really <laughs> It expires on March 1st, 2016. Wow, I'm really all about dates today. It's kind of freaky, not like me. And what else do I have to go over? Um, oh, hey, and you know what? I always forget to tell you. If you have trouble finding me on the internet or on Facebook or Twitter, there's no E on the end of Melanie. It's just M-E-L-A-N-I, because life has to be complicated. Thank you, Artlings, for sharing your time with me today. I had so much fun. And remember, don't be afraid to spill a little paint, a little ink, or a few pixels. Check you out later. Bye. Hey, Ben. Hey, have you heard about that new adult coloring trend going on? Um, yeah, like uh, coloring books and Zentangle. Yeah, well there's a bigger craze now. Yeah, really? Yeah, it's Vendangle. Oh, yeah, I have heard of that one.